All right, what's going on everybody? So uh, if you haven't noticed, it's been a hot minute or two since I've posted a video, which is definitely my fault, but you know, life gets in the way. <clears throat> so what we're gonna talk about today is my top three baits for July. Stick with us. football jig but a football jig with a real flappy trailer so this football jig as a matter of fact is a motion fishing football jig in half ounce I mean you can see this head is just turned into like it's still green it still works but it's been demolished and it's in uh, Ozark Gill and it has a space monkey made by Rage uh, Tail, a Space Monkey and Watermelon and Red Flake trailer. And this thing has caught me some giants. So uh, jigs are real big right now. Uh, the bigger, the floppier, the better. And if uh, your water is not super clear like mine is because it hasn't rained in a bazillion years, <clears throat> trusty black and blue, tried and true, right? So. Also a motion fishing jig. If you haven't checked out motion fishing, please do. It's not only because I'm sponsored by them, but because they catch fish, tons of fish, lots of fish. So that is number one. What do I fish it on? Stand right there, don't move. Uh, I like a big rod and a fast reel to fish my jigs on. Anything that is gonna require a single hook and has the possibility of being thrown, especially like Texas rigs that are unpinned. I'm fishing a heavy rod, heavy action. Okay. I like fast or moderate fast. This is a fast seven foot six heavy action made by old 18. So it doesn't have to be made by old 18. I have a, a St. Croix Bass X that I really like too. That's a heavy action, fast seven foot four. That's a really good jig, but, but my point is, is that I like to be able to feel like I drove that hook through a giant fish's forehead. And sometimes if you hook into these big fish and you have these heavy wire hooks, you know, you got to have a lot of power behind that hook set or else you could lose the fish. So the reel on this particular rod is a Daiwa Tatula. 8.1 TWS SV, so perfect for skipping, awesome action, not super expensive, a couple hundred bucks you can get into one of these, and, uh, and it's great, it's really, really good. Anyway, 7.6 heavy, fast, is what you need for a jig rod, in my opinion. Bait number two. Da, 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 da. Senko. This is a third eye fishing stick. You can see it. Size is five and a quarter inches, five inches, six inches, whatever. But uh, third eye fishing is my is my jam. They're my people. They're great. I find these a little more durable with just as good action, lots of salt, great bait. And I like to use these Berkeley fishing one sixteenth ounce wacky hooks. Buy them at Walmart called Berkeley Fusion. They're not perfect, they, you know, they're not, you know, not magic, but uh, I find these hooks are sharp. They're a little offset. I don't know if you can see that, just a little offset. And um, they stick them, you know, they get in there and they stick them. And they're really good. So check these out. 
Berkeley Fusion 160th ounce wacky hooks change your life. If you're not fishing on this stick, you can also, uh, obviously this is a third eye fishing um, bait as well. This is a four and a half inch dojo worm. And it's just a little smaller presentation. You're having a tough day. Morning dawn, by the way. This color has really impressed me this year. It's been really good for me. And then you got dark water, you got stained water. I like black with red flake. So, Wacky Senko, 1 16th ounce Berkeley Fusion Wacky Hook. I like a little weight on that hook. You can do a Nico with the same deal if you want. Uh, Third Eye makes these little screw and Nikos, but I personally prefer the Wacky Hook with the a little bit of weight on, easier for skipping. I just recently purchased this um, six cents unicorn spinning rod. It's a seven foot two inch medium light, and it is money town. I mean, it is nice. I don't know if you can see that, but it is got this really sick like look and then i paired this up with a daiwa tatula again if it has a single hook i don't know why i like it like this but if it has a single hook i like a faster gear ratio and this is a daiwa tatula 6.2 to 1 spinning rod or spinning reel so uh this thing you can just kind of lean into them and then just continue to drive that hook into the fish and it pins them real good seven foot two is a great uh length and I mean, the only disadvantage to this, if I was going to give one, is that this part of the rod is a little long if you're fishing in a kayak. As you can see, it kind of gets in the, in the zone here. But it is money town. Gosh, wish I had this my whole life. So, awesome rod. Give it a, give it a shot. Six cents. If you're listening, I'm your man. Come pick me up. Come get your boy. We'll do something. It'll be great. So, that's number two last bait that we're gonna say is in the top three. And this is gonna be kind of crazy because we already kind of did a jig. So I apologize if this makes you angry. But we are talking about a finesse jig or a Ned jig. So it's basically a Ned that has a little skirt on it. This one's in chartreuse. And I like to pair this up with a Z-Man Elastec Copper Truce. So this thing, I'm just gonna put it on here real quick for you. So we just take this little hook, pull it through, okay, drag it up, let it come through like that, figure out where it goes in, boom. That is what I am talking about. So this little set up here this little finesse setup has killed for me and people say well you know well that's all good and all, and all that stuff but you know they only catch small fish well come check out my page come see what i just caught on one of these things because i i've caught a lot of good fish on this and it has been impressive this jig this particular jig is a pig jigs ned nedin n-e-d-d-i-n nedin jig super sharp I haven't lost a fish on these either. And what you been waiting for? Set up. So I get it. It's a jig. We want to put it on a bait caster, all that stuff. Well, that's not what I do. Here's what I do. I like to fish this on a spinning rod and not just any spinning rod. By the way, this is the Ned jig that just has killed for me. And this orange color here, amazing. And I, I threw that on a California Craw, Elastec, uh, Finesse TRD. The other two favorite colors, listen, I, I can't tell you guys everything, but I'm gonna tell you this. First one, obviously green pumpkin. Everybody loves green pumpkin. I get it. This is the juice. The juice, green pumpkin goby. Don't know why, but anyway. So this Finesse jig is on a seven foot six, 762 Dobbins Champion XP spinning rod. And it is a medium, light, fast action. We've got it paired up with a proficiency crazy spinning reel and a 2000 series. 
And then we've obviously, we've got 12 pound um, braid with a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader here. So it, this kills, oops, sorry, this kills. So this is a great rod also, if you like Dobbins, Dobbins is money. And this rod is worth every penny. And I am gonna give you some bonus content here just because that is the kind of guy that I am. And I know you guys want all the juice. So I have basically pulled out every lure that I use this weekend to catch fish. And I've got it laid out here on the table. So, number one. Whopper plopper. Early in the morning, can't beat a whopper plopper. Uh, my recommendation is to switch out the hooks with some Gamagatsu EWG treble hooks. And these are size four. That's what you need, size four. So, those are money town. Next, medium to deep diving crankbait. And uh, in a bluegill pattern, bluegill HD, really good. Three, another top water. This is a walking bait. It is a spook, and it's called a Sammy. Lucky, uh, Lucky Craft makes it. And three hooks, highly recommend three hooks. Cut a lot of fish on that. All right, next. Shaky head. This is an owner um, 316 sound shaky head with a six and a half inch dojo worm by third eye fishing. Money town. Hope this helps you guys catch some fish in July. I got a tournament next week. I'll do a follow up video just because it's been a hot minute since I've done a couple in a row. And obviously, repetition is important. If you like the video, hit the like button, please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.